Yeah, I think what the B part is was for the beach. I don't think they're going to enforce just uh, somebody hanging out here. They want to they want to charge for the beach most likely. The beach is prime real estate. Charge money to reduce the the people who show up. All right. Oh, they got a water fountain. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna hang out here and not pay. Let's see how they like it. Sandy Knoll Park, Sandy Knoll County Park, West Bend, Wisconsin. <clears throat> All right, they're pretty much just rolling down. I believe I take a right. I believe. I only go need to go fifteen, so Don Wallace Lake Road. All right. Take my time. I wanted to adjust the mirror. Okay. Not great. Okay, I know what I want to do. Adjusting the mirror. Okay. Okay, okay. Stop. No parking any time. Well, I don't see any cops. Okay. Yeah, I went ahead uh, east and just go to the Walmart. Just hang out <laughs> kind of early. <clears throat> I gotta say, I mean, I can't ignore it. I did suffer some stomach sickness today. And it kind of seems a little bit like it's being brought on by the the vinegar a little bit. So now I want to take more safety precautions with the vinegar because the, the the fumes might be wearing away at my my senses, my stomach. I, I'm not sure. That uh, sometimes when this when uh when my stomach got sick it was just because of exercise it was because of exercise and not just any exercise doing uh push-ups so um i'm developed i have new habits where i seem to be making my stomach sicker whether through diet or how i'm acting what i'm eating yeah it's Oh, I'm exercising. It's Wallace Lane Road. It's something to monitor closely now. I gotta be aware of this. Okay. All right, going on the road now. I just washed uh, a shirt. It's wet with vinegar, so. I want to keep that as far away from me as possible because it did not dry. I waited till the last minute to clean that that shirt. Kind of bad timing. So I'm probably going to be sleeping with that vinegar smell. But this time I, I know that I need to keep it a good distance away from me. Which isn't exactly easy to do in the car. I might need to leave the shirt outside the car somehow it's been a pretty decent weather today it's going to be even hotter tomorrow i sweated a little bit today and now i and then the next few days even i'm going to be sweating more and more as the days approach and i'm not too confident that being next to lake michigan is going to bring a ton of relief I know Lake Superior in some places at some times was bringing some relief. The winds have to blow across the water though. Starting to see a lot more natural birch trees around here.
All right, I see a tractor sign. It'd be about this far uh, north into the Wisconsin, on the west side of Wisconsin. I'd, I'd see warnings about Amish. Man, that west, that border of the Wisconsin and Minnesota, that is rough. The southwest part of Wisconsin, it's just full of gnats, mosquitoes, probably horse flies in the, in the fall. Amish live around there. That is a rough area for bugs. I'm sure it's just as bad. I just, somebody told me that the mosquitoes are really bad in Minnesota. And I'm not experiencing any pro major problems with mosquitoes. I see, I see one or two here and there on the east side of Wisconsin. So I'm looking for them, but I know that further west, they are just numerous. The gnats, the mosquitoes. I'm a little surprised I'm not seeing gnats around here. They really are a regional insect. They really do follow along the Mississippi River. They're just like, I mean, if I were to make a, a conclusion based on what I see so far, gnats are a Mississippi River insect. Um, but I mean, um, I just need to explore around more. I hung out at this park all day and no problems with gnats, no problems with mosquitoes while walking through the woods. No daytime mosquitoes attacking me in the woods. It was a very comfortable walk. So it's kind of, it's, it's just interesting how that, how that works. Closer to the Great Lakes, we got fewer. Is that how it works? As as thick as this woods is, how is that possible? Because I always assume that if the woods are thick, there's going to be tons of mosquito. There's going to be tons of bug, bloodthirsty bugs. Maybe it's because it's only June. But uh, yeah, I got my own problems with my sick stomach. But uh, I got to worry about the environment too. It's not just my own problems that. Are gonna be a challenge. Wow, this is one curvy road, and it's going hilly too. 874 elevation. I expect it to go down a little bit heading towards the Great Lakes. Maybe it's just a, a hill to go over. I got 35. Ooh, ooh, that's a tight one. And it doesn't say slow down. I'm only I'm in third gear too. Okay, stop ahead. I don't know why I got my lights on. I turned them on because somebody else had their lights on, but I'm not seeing anybody on the road. All right, yeah, I'm in third gear, going 30. Okay, there's a warning about the stop sign, and here it is, 1.2 miles. It's a nice looking house. I would think people might be a little happier on the west, on the east part of Wisconsin compared to the west. It's probably why the Amish are living on the west part of Wisconsin. It's the less less desirable land, I think. At least for the insects. But does the Great Lake if like have much influence? Interesting. In God we trust. Okay. All right, up ahead, this is a weird looking intersection area. Got a little pressure from behind. Second, second, right? Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Lifting and then writing. You know, my stomach feels like it could be pre-sick. Feels like it could be sick, but it's just not quite there. Chip ceiling week of June 10. Chip ceiling week. What are chips exactly that they're sealing? All right, we got an ATV warning. We're gonna start seeing more off-road vehicle 
activity and regulation. Get north enough further, it'll see more act regulation about snowmobiles. Uh, we're slowing down to 25. Really? I'm in fourth gear? They really got people slowing down uh, uh, along the southeast area. Wisconsin, 23. Eastern, southeastern Wisconsin's got some slow speed limits. 25 from here. I got some guy behind me, two more catching up. Like I'm doing something wrong here. Go on this suggested speed limit. Home of Newburgh Sportsman. Ton of cars. Must be a baseball game. Ton of trucks more, I mean. Oh my god, I'm supposed to go straight. Oh my god. Road closed. Do you got a detour? It's just straight up. The road is closed. It's just straight up. Road closed. And they don't have a detour. There is no detour. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. I don't see where else you can cross. I gotta like... Turn back and drive. Uh, yeah, this is just a turn around. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna turn here and see if anybody follows. I'm a little lost. Oh jeez, I gotta look, I gotta reevaluate the directions. This is crazy. Oh, all right, I gotta backtrack a lot. I gotta backtrack like maybe five miles. They've cut off the entire town. They cut off a huge, I mean. Turn right on Hickory Drive. That's the problem with taking back roads. I get so many problems with back roads going through towns. They cut off an entire town. So I, I read the, oh my God, what? Okay. I, I uh, chose directions to get onto the highway, sort of. I hope that, I, you know, I didn't even study that close enough. I gotta look at somebody shooting off a gun. Oh my God, you're just having me circle around. I can't, okay, I can't cross the bridge to my left. All right. Okay, but I, I could circle around. Okay, all right. All right. It says road closed, but it kind of looks like you can drive across. Still, it's a road closed. Somebody's shooting their gun off not far away. And often, too. Sportsmen, all right. Some kind of event. It must be uh, more than one person shooting. Okay. All right, all right. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to go back to the, to the city I left, uh, whatever it's called. Just got a backtrack. I didn't see warnings. I don't think I would have heeded those warnings. But yeah, these back roads, this happened a lot for me. Where I come across a, a road entirely closed down. That's this road is closed down because of a bridge. The bridge goes the entire bridge goes out. Apparently, even though it looks fine, and the the uh, signs are spaced out enough. Oh, dead end. Okay, all right. Two and a half miles. Turn left on Decoy Road. I'm going to Southville. Here's the detour sign. I gotta stop too. Looks like I gotta stop. I guess.
All right. So I, yeah, I just didn't see that there's a detour issue. So I don't know if it applies to me. It's like hard to tell a lot of times if that applies to my route. So I have to go all the way up to the dead end to realize bridges are going out and they don't know what to do with them. They gotta just close them down. I think there's some hay transport. They're harvesting hay already. Spring growth. First cut. This is a big agricultural area. Got a left coming up and 0.7. Got to stop before that. Although, oh my God. That's for, that's for the back road. Do I want the back road? I don't think so. I don't know. We'll see how Garmin says. I'm going to take the left here instead. Just, just to be safe. Oh my God, this is a wayside. I did see that on the map. Some kind of a wayside. What is it, 55? Okay. So yeah, there's going to be a few more cars giving me pressure here. Uh, yep. Actually, they're turning. Okay. Okay, Garmin is uh, uh, Milwaukee River. Garmin has changed. We got six miles down this. I'll accept that. <laughs> After that issue, I, I don't want to go through that town. Take the truck route. Fifty-five. <laughs> Okay, we got uh, big, kind of a big curve, hills, not as hilly as the west, southwest side of uh, Wisconsin. 8.58 elevation, uh, five miles. All right, stop slowing down the 40, entering Newburgh, population 1140. So that's a fair, that's over a thousand people in Newburgh. Uh, they have a slogan, but I think I was not able to read that slogan. Kind of small print. And it's on the left side, not the right side. Business district is to the left. I see that. That's where the road is closed, is the business district. So I'm driving around Newburgh. I would have driven through Newburgh, but they closed that bridge. A Casey's gas station in Newburgh. Okay, it's, oh yeah, it's 40 on this road. Trump 2024, and they just kind of uh, put a, uh, erased Pence from that sign. They used the old sign from 2020 that said Trump Pence. They erased Pence and just put 2024 over that. That's a different approach. Right share info, call 1-800-455-POOL. Okay, we're up to 55. I didn't even downshift gears. I think I'm in fifth gear. All right. So that's Newburgh on past Newburgh. 
got three and a half miles and on the country road although there's you know a fair amount of business and activity housing and stuff along this road it does not look run down everything looks in pretty good like they're keeping things up in good order in good shape red barn over there uh, let's see new rentals west bend they're renting out their red barn there's a gate although there's no gate okay Oh, a mailbox with some kind of a roof over it. Yeah, they, the people around here are are uh, maintaining, spending money on maintenance, putting the time in to maintain their properties to look not run down, to look in good shape. And there's just some new looking houses as well. New traffic pattern ahead. 15 at this roundabout on Highway 33. Hawthorne Hills County Park to the left. They've got red red brick i've never really seen them use red brick so extensively here maybe because it's new they just really want to let the old timers know that things are changing around this on this road structure 55 down highway 33 all right i got three miles for our right on plaza i got a truck following me very closely And now a car is behind them. So people are not liking that I'm going the speed limit of 55. And below that, actually, I'm preferring 50. I prefer 50 over 55. And it doesn't look like this. The lane, the middle uh, stripes are going to allow them to cross to pass me. There's double solid stripes. Looks like we got to slow down up ahead. The 45, okay. I guess I'm getting into a city now. I'll probably sulk, sulk something. The city with the Walmart. Stronger together. Somebody peeled in a circle uh, on the road. There's a lot of construction going on here. Those houses are not even moved into yet. They're still working on them, but they are very advanced. They've got the walls. Some have siding, some don't. Wow. A lot of new construction on the outskirts of the great city. Well, I don't see the name of the city yet. Big operation on the left. Wow, big, big factory set up. The Cora Woods, Southville, 4,400 people. No, no. Humane Society. I'm not going to see the the Cora Woods Business Park. Yeah, I'm not going to see that. Oh my God, it's 35? Wow. I'm trying to read everything at, at a decreased speed. All right, I'm in the town. 35. And uh, yeah, 1.3 miles for something. Taking in the, the sites, we got apartment complexes, stoplights, Casey's grass station, 25 miles per hour. So slowing it down from 35 to 25 in town, crossing an old, oh well, that looks like an active railroad track. And, and it's not too rough to cross. Oh, I got rain. I thought I saw rain in the distance. I thought I saw rain. Okay, one mile. A little sprinkle, a little sprinkling. 
as I pass Grady Park. There's the library. They might be open. As I go 25. Ah, I just, I never marked the library. I only had Walmart's marked. At this hour, I'm not sure if the library would be open. Veterans Park. So I would backtrack for that library. Okay, I kind of kink to the left. Okay. That another weird intersection. Lots of weird intersections in the southeast of Wisconsin. Crossing the Milwaukee River again. All right, I would estimate that the Walmart's about a mile away, two miles away from the, the library. First left, okay. Yeah, the Walmart will be a right. Uh-oh, somebody got pulled over on this road. But I don't, I don't see the car, I just see the... the the police cars uh, flashing lights. I don't see the car that it pulled over. Oh, we're stopping at the lights. It's, uh, the police car seems to be blocking the highway. So there might be a chase or an accident that happened. He does not want anybody getting onto the highway. Police for Southville can't see anything. Can't see any issues. Well, I'm glad I got through that without getting uh, in an accident, at least. Those police chases get pretty scary. Uh, I want to take a right here. Okay. Yep. That's pretty accurate. Okay. I see the Walmart store. And I, I have a good idea where I want to pull over okay we got no tractor trailers allowed here okay <clears throat> all right yeah just no trucks or trailers okay well yeah i'll just take this this little spot see how things look i should have my door the other facing the other way Selkville, wisconsin Selkville, wisconsin all right, I got the dead end road. I want to check out. East Green Bay Avenue. It's then not, enter the roundabout. It's not far. East Green Bay Avenue. Then enter the roundabout. It's not far from the sewage treatment plant, which I'm not happy about getting close to. But I want to check it out. Two mile drive. To get to Turn practically left. this Rocket Street, then enter the round bond. The <clears throat> sewage treatment plant. <clears throat> it's it's gonna be a hot day today, and I've been seeking shelter for the afternoon. And this is the best spot that I see. That's a dead end over there. Huh. At Rock third exit to East Green Bay Avenue. I think that's a dead end next to the Walmart. I didn't even notice. There's so many things I just don't notice. Okay, I want to left, but I can't. I have to go around the roundabout. Mm -hmm. Okay, just following the directions. Why is it so wet? I got something spilling, I think. Okay, somebody's right behind me. All right. <clears throat> Just want to get off this main road, which is 0.3 miles. Once I take that left, then I shouldn't have a whole lot of pressure. Yeah, I, I think I'd like to hang out in this dead end road spot all day. Woods. I checked uh, Regrid to see who owns it, owns around this road, and it's all the township. I mean, there is a park that they have designated, but still, 
the rest of the land is still owned by the town as well. Right, Foster Drive. Very little private property. So it looks attractive to me. I would like, I was, I was checking out libraries around here, trying to take, uh, maybe, maybe hanging out at the library seriously, but there's just no shade parking. I want evening shade parking. It's amazing. It, even as, as much vegetation as this place has, there's just no good shade parking from what I see in the map. Welcome to Boston. With a, with a hot day. Okay, I go straight through this, but I got to stop. It's a bit of a screwy intersection. I can't quite see very well. I can't sweep behind me very well. It's not too busy, at least. Wow. That's the problem with having the nets on my windows. I suspect that this turns into a dirt road. I see you got a cornfield. Oh, somebody's... He's in Hotel Lane. <clears throat> There's only two houses heading uh, close. That guy's steering wheels on the other side. There's only two houses in this. Yeah, it's a dead end. And then uh, the sewage treatment plant. Oh, look, there's a third house. Okay, I only saw two houses on the map. That's on East Lake Lane. Oh, it's still, okay. Actually, there might be uh, much more than two houses. Maybe until I take this left up here. Tall trees. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sniff for the sewage treatment plant. That might be that up the up a straight ahead. <clears throat> I do not want to be breathing in the sewage treatment plant. Okay, here I just want to pay attention. Okay, we got we got a house with the security. Another house. Still a paved road. I don't believe that there's anybody living at the end of the street, but it's possible. Especially with the township. Oh, no, it's not possible. Oh my god, they blocked it off, though. That's the problem. Oh. Well, that creates a problem for me. I was looking at the dead end seriously and they've blocked it off well then this this uh this creates a problem for me okay i did not expect to see this and i can't and i, I guess i don't want to be just parked on the end here uh-oh 